to see you too. Can everyone hear me? Yes. So um, I have to say that I do a lot of performances, and I have not been this nervous getting up on stage in a long time because I have not had to follow an act that good in a long time. Give it up for him. Come on. Man, that was incredible. So um, one of my favorite things in the world, one of my favorite magic tricks, is a trick called Three Card Monty. It's actually a, a kind of a con game, um, but we call it a magic trick because otherwise it would be illegal. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite tricks, and, and being in Texas, you don't get to see it live a lot. Um, and you don't see, get, to, get to see a lot of people who do it really well. And I did get the, the privilege to see one person do a fantastic three-card mind routine. For those of you who don't know, that's the routine. They have three cards. Two of them are the same, and they're the loser cards. And you have one that's different. It's the winner card. And you throw them back and forth and mix them up, and usually you walk away without any money. So uh, feel free to throw your money up here at the end of the show. <laughs> but uh, I got to see one guy do it, and I lost a lot of money. I lost so much money playing this game with him that he actually gave me the trick afterwards. Uh, nice. And that's what, I, that's what I want to show you guys today. You want to see it? Yeah! All right. I brought the big cards because I knew I was going to be on stage. Either that or I'm a midget. I'm not sure which. So, uh, like any three-card money routine, it uses three cards. Okay, except this one's a little bit different. Uh, as you'll notice, one of the cards is red on the back. Two black cards, or blue, I'm kind of colorblind, and a red card in the middle. Now, of course, on the front, they're also different. You have two, winner, uh, two loser cards, the fours, and a winner card, the queen of spades. And this is what happened. I saw this guy uh, doing this routine, and I walked up, and I watched and started playing money. He said, hey, diddle diddle, it's the one in the middle. It's a little bit different because the one on the back is red. It's a very simple routine. All you have to do is it's a dollar a bet, and you just have to find the, the winner card. He said, so if I take the red card out and show you the two loser cards, where would you say the winner card is? And I said, it's got to be over here. He said, well, we have the two fours over here, and we have the winner card over here. Except we don't. So that's how I lost my first dollar. He said, he said actually, I'm kind of tricking you that the winner card's actually over here. I start off with a little bit of a lie, and when I tell you, thank you, hold it to the end. <laughs> he said, I start off with a little bit of lie. I told you that the winner card was a red-backed card, but it's actually one of the blue-backed cards. So it's, it's a little tricky, but we'll try it again. It says two loser cards and a winner card. He said, if I take the winner card out, and I show you the two loser cards, the two fours over here, where's the winner card? And I said, well, it, it's, it's got to be in your hand over, over here. And he said, no, that's also a loser card. <laughs> I know. You've been at the punch bowl again. <laughs> and at this point, I say, okay, well, there, there can't be a winner card then. You, you're just using three fours. And he said, no, the winner card's right there. You owe me another dollar. <laughs> yeah, remember this when you start playing this game. He said, no, I, I lied again. It's actually the red card. So if I take the red card out and I show you the loser card, the winner card's over here, right? And I said, yes. He said, no, that's a loser card. And about this time, I'm getting pretty upset, you can imagine. I've just lost a couple of bucks. You know, nothing big yet. But he said, I'll tell you the real secret here. The real secret is that I've got the three cards, but one of them, one of them's a little tricky. I said, well, what do you mean? You know? He says, one of them has the red back, the two have the black back, but on the other side, you have the two fours and another blue back, and that's how the trick's done. <laughs> he charged me another dollar for that one. He said, so the, the winner card's actually a double-backed card, two backs on one card, and I said, okay. He said, so if I take the red card over here, and I show you the winner cards over here. Where's the winner card? Or the loser cards over here, I apologize. He says, where's the winner card? I said, it's over here. He goes, nope, that's a four. <laughs> At this point, I'm getting pretty upset. I'm getting pretty flustered. And he says, I'll tell you what, we'll do it one more time. I'll make it even easier for you. I'll leave one of the cards in facing you. <laughs> now, whenever, whenever a con artist tries to give you a tip or a hint, <laughs> this, is a good, this is a good thing to learn. He's usually cheating. He said, okay, so where would you say the winner card is now? I said, well, there's not a winner card, obviously. He goes, no, there is a winner card. It's just on the back of the other four. <laughs> and for that tip, he cost me a dollar, and then he upped it to $5 a game. So now I'm really invested in this thing, right? <laughs> and being the prideful person that I am, I can't just walk away. That would be horrible. I have to just keep going at this, slowly emptying my wallet to some guy on the street. He said, so I've got the, the two loser cards here, the winner card that's on the back of a loser card. He said, have I confused you yet? And I said, not yet. I think, I think I've got it. He says, okay. So if I take this card that has two faces, and I show you the two loser cards over here, 
the winner card's on the back, right? And I said, well, it has to be. He said, no, that's, that's actually the red card. We have the two blue cards. And he said, I'll give you one last chance. We'll do it double or nothing, which is another, another thing you should learn. <laughs> double or nothing usually means double for them and nothing for you. So he says, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you one shot, double or nothing. Okay, two blue cards and a red card. On the front, we have two fours and a black card, the double-backed card again. I have no idea where he's getting this stuff. He doesn't have any pockets. He doesn't have a table. He says, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the red card, just like before, show you the two loser cards. Where's the double-backed card? And I said, it's over here. And he says, no, it's a loser card. And now by this point, I'm down to my last $5 bill. And he says, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll cancel the double or nothing, but if you can figure this last one out, you walk away uh, free and clear. He says, I'll bring the winner card back. So we have the... Uh, the red card, the blue card, and the blue card. And like I said before, the winner cards are one of the blue cards, the red cards, and they're just to confuse you. He said, all you have to do is follow the winner card. And by this time, I I've, I've thought I figured it out. Two, two double back cards, two double face cards, and a winner card, right? He says, here we go. One last time. We have a red card and a blue card. Two loser cards over here. And for, for the whole tamale, where's the winner card? And I said, it's got to be over there. He says, nope. And that's how I lost $100 <laughs> to some guy on the street and wound up with a new magic trick. Woo!